Today, we will be solving a nice math Olympiad question, which is if x plus y equals 4 and x to the power 5 plus y to the power 5 equals 464. Find out the values of x and y. This problem looks hard, but there's a neat way to solve it. Let us start. We all know that x plus y whole square is x square plus 2 times xy plus y square, right? So take this 2 times xy this side to get x square plus y square as x plus y whole square minus 2 times xy. But x plus y is 4, and thus we get x square plus y square equals 4 square minus 2 times xy, which is 16 minus 2 times xy. Then we might also know the formula for x plus y whole cube. It's x cube plus y cube plus 3 times xy times x plus y. So substitute x plus y as 4 to get 4 cube equals x cube plus y cube plus 3 xy times 4. This becomes 64 equals x cube plus y cube plus 12 xy. Thus x cube plus y cube equals 64 minus 12 xy. But now, what about x plus y, whole raised to power 4 and other higher powers? How to expand them? To do so, we rewrite this 4 as 1 plus 3. Now, according to the power law, a raised to m plus n equals a raised to m times a raised to power n. So, we can rewrite this as x plus y raised to the power 1, which is nothing but x plus y times x plus y raised to the power 3. That gives us a way to break down higher powers using lower ones we already know. Substitute x plus y whole cube as this. Now let us expand it. Take this and multiply it with x plus y to get this. Then take this and multiply it with x plus y to get 3xy times x plus y whole square. Now let us expand this part. x times x cube is x to the fourth. Then this and this becomes x times y cube. Then this and this becomes y times x cube. And y times y cube will be y to the four. So this will become x to the four plus y raised to four plus this. So take xy as common from them to get xy times x square plus y square. Noise. Now substitute x square plus y square from here to get this as xy times 16 minus 2, xy. So this becomes x to the 4 plus y to the 4 plus 16, xy minus 2 times xy whole square. But don't forget, we also have this, which is 3 times xy times this will become 4 square or 16. Thus this will be 48 times xy. So x plus y whole raised to 4 becomes x to the 4 plus y to the 4 plus. Both these will add up to give 64 xy minus 2 times xy whole square. So finally, we are ready to expand x plus y whole raised to power 5, which can be rewritten as x plus y times x plus y whole raised to 4, which is this. So substitute it here. Now take this x plus y from here and x to the fourth power plus y to the fourth power and multiply them. Then take this and multiply it with x plus y. First, let us expand the easier part, which is this. Simply put x equals 4 here to get this entire thing as 4 times this, which will be 4 times 64, or 256 xy minus 8, xy whole square. Now let us expand this part. We get x times x to the 4, or x to the 5 plus this, and this will become x times y to the 4, and this will become y times x to the 4 plus y times y to the 4 gives y to the 5. So we have x to the 5 plus y to the 5 plus take xy as common from here to get xy times x cube plus y cube. Now, substitute x to the 5 plus y to the 5 as 464 and x cube plus y cube as 64 minus 12. 
xy to get this part as 464 plus 64 xy minus 12 xy whole square, and then we also have this part, which is 256 xy minus 8 xy whole square. So it becomes 464 plus this, and this will give 320 xy, and this and this will give minus 20 xy whole square, which equals x plus y whole to the 5. Substitute 4 here to get 4 to the 5, which will be equal to 1024. So take everything on left side to get this, and finally we get 20 xy whole square minus 320. xy plus 560 equals 0. Let us assume xy equals some variable t, and then also divide by 20 on all sides to get this as t square minus 16 t plus 28 equals 0. You know, I will not bore you by solving this quadratic equation. We get t as 2, or t equals 14, which means xy equals 2, or xy equals 14. Now we have xy equals t, and thus we get y equals t over x. Substitute y in x plus y equals 4 to get x plus t over x equals 4. Multiply by x on all sides to get x square plus t equals 4x. So, x square minus 4x plus t equals 0. Since there are two values of t, thus we get these two quadratic equations. Again, use this quadratic formula to solve for x, and we get x equals 2 plus root 2 and 2 minus root 2 for this equation. Then we get 2 plus i root 10 and 2 minus i root 10 for this equation, where i equals the square root of the negative 1. This means it gives a complex root. Now finding y is super easy. We have x plus y equals 4, which means y equals 4 minus x. So for this value of x, we get y as 4 minus 2 plus square root 2 or 2 minus root 2. Then for this value of x, we get y as 4 minus 2 minus square root 2 or 2 plus root 2. Next, for this value of x, we get y as 4 minus 2 plus i root 10, or 2 minus i root 10. Then finally, for this value of x, we get y as 4 minus 2 minus i root 10, or 2 plus i root 10. This way, we get four sets of values of x and y. That was simply out of this world. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also, you can support my channel by joining our community and becoming a member. So good!